Hey there, Shauna Karras here with another Ask Shauna Answer. I'm still coming to you from the Desert International Horse Park in uh, Thermal, California, which is kind of by Palm Springs. So anyway, we're here doing Terra Nova Tuesdays and getting the word out to some of the uh, people here at the showgrounds, some of our hunter jumper comrades. Anyway, so that's where I'm coming to you from. We'll be here for the next four weeks. I don't know when you're listening to this, but this is where we are. All right, so. Um, I got a message. It's from Suzanne. She says, hi, I'm from Germany. My English is not perfect. We have a 13-year-old gelding. We take him on trail rides through villages, through forests. He's not the coolest, but it works well. <laughs> when we are on the AQHA show, he is perfect before the show. But as soon as he sees the judge, everything is different. He hates to make a simple horsemanship pattern or western trail pattern. He starts to be extremely nervous. His ha tail goes like a helicopter. Clicker training works well with, for him. For example, going back with a farrier or go from one cone to another. Even when we practice a start up with a fake judge, he will do it the next time again in the show. How can I tell him that nothing bad will happen to him in the show ring? With kind respect, Susie. Okay, Susie. Well, you definitely have what uh, we would call in in the marine mammal world, we call it show discrimination. So he kind of knows the difference between a true show and 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 what you're doing and there's a lot of triggers or a lot of tells that can let him know that that it's different that this actually counts and a lot of times it can be us we can just be a little bit more nervous a little bit more frantic a little bit more tense you know we're worried about where's our stuff and where and what time is it and all those different pieces so sometimes it is us so i'm going to say first and foremost try to remember to breathe relax, have fun, and don't have an agenda. So, I mean, that sounds really hard to do, but the more you can get it where he feels like it's not really a critical moment. Okay, so that's one thing you can do to help minimize that portion of things. The other thing you can do is also sometimes at home, get tense, you know, intentionally try to feel a little frantic and worked up and reinforce him for that. So if you can kind of just change your energy a little bit and then when he's good, reinforce, click it and reinforce him and then let your energy go back to relax and doing your thing. But you're also letting him know, sometimes I may be like this, sometimes like this. So that's a way, I always do it, I like to do it with my horses. I don't always because I forget, but I like to do it with my horses because you know, what if it is, you know, a fire and we're evacuating and people are frantic and things are going wrong or somebody else is handling them and it's chaos. I want that to not be the weirdest thing or if I'm acting differently for it not to be the strangest thing. So that's one thing you can do to help him if it is you as the trigger that will help him to kind of realize it's okay. The other thing it sounds like to me and it, it, I don't know how long you've had him, but it sounds like he has a past in the show ring that maybe he he hasn't had the greatest time with or the the greatest reinforcement history. And it may not be that, I mean, it could be that somebody did a grind and did the same thing over and over and over and he didn't like it. Or it could be that the person kind of got after him a little bit more and got tense when it was time for the show ring. Or it could be he, he took himself over threshold. Just the show environment maybe was too much. So his association with being in the show ring technically in the show ring, maybe something that feels like an unpleasant situation and has unpleasant reminders for him. So I think the best thing, I, what I'm gonna recommend you do is if you can go to some schooling shows or go to the show, so I imagine he goes a little bit over threshold, his attention goes up or he's at threshold when he even gets to the show ground. He's probably waiting for that moment that the other thing happens and there's a lot to watch and, and it can be exhausting and it can be a lot going on. So I would take him to a couple shows and not show him. So maybe ride in the arena, reinforce him, reinforce him. So you're kind of making the show environment in general be a more reinforcing environment. But then what I'd also do, I would go to some schooling shows. Here in the US, we have schooling shows where there, there is a judge, it looks everything like the regular show, but it's not for points. It, 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 it is much more casual and relaxed. But I would go in and start doing the most basic thing. And as he engages, I would click, I would feed, and I'd get out of there. Because, you know, what does he want? He kind of wants to get out of the show ring. You know, you think about it. What he's thinking is this is panicking here, and I don't like it in here, and I don't like it in here. So the best thing you could do is say, good, you relaxed a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if he goes in all tense and you feel a little bit of that, I'd say that's, I'll take it. That's good. So he starts learning relaxing is what you're looking for. And I would 
like I said, I'd click and maybe illegal. I don't really care because you're in a schooling show. It doesn't matter. And I would feed and I'd feed and I'd feed and then I would leave. And then I might come back in for a later class and try to do it again and maybe get a little bit more. And what you're doing now is you're, he anticipates something. He expects that this show environment predicts that this is going to go a certain way that in his head is really uncomfortable and he doesn't like. So what you want to do is break that. So it, the show and seeing the judge isn't a predictor of bad things to come. He's not letting you help him to figure it out. But if you can break it down to the little pieces and get a little piece of it and reinforce him, you're really going to start to break that chain. And I would practice that a bit. I mean, what What's the point of showing if it's not fun for you and him? So I think breaking that down and turning it in that something that is fun and feels safer for him is going to be rewarding for both of you. And I think in the long run, you'll have a horse who actually likes the show environment because you've broken it down to those little pieces and helped him in general. Now, I know you said that he, he, he's good until he goes in the show ring, but the stronger and better we can make the strong the the reinforcement history with the show in general and the show grounds and all the pieces that are part of it, the better he's the more he's going to feel that it is a good thing and a relaxing thing. So I think just even going and reinforcing him for being there and being around and saying, see, it's all there is to it will help him to to see the whole picture is better and then adding in the schooling show or even yeah the schooling show and going into the arena seeing the judge getting a, a minuscule amount of relaxation and building on that and sometimes as you're building as you're building as you're building and now let's say you can do a whole thing once in a while just go in and go here I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna go in and do the very beginning again and click and reinforce there if we always build and build and build and build and build they learn that that the end matters so it, I mean they can't they don't all but like with the dolphins if we always blew our whistle clicked I mean it's essentially the same we didn't use clickers but we used the whistle if we bridged at the fifth bow and we have five lovely even bows pretty soon they're like the first one doesn't matter don't put any effort into that the second one doesn't matter don't put any effort into that so you're gonna have loop 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 Bloop, bloop, and at five they'll be up to criteria because they know that one matters. So I, it's really important to kind of vary and break our human patterns. So I think sometimes going in, sometimes doing longer, sometimes doing shorter will give you the greatest outcome and keep no, his attitude bright and 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 optimistic. So you have a little row to hoe here, but set your criteria so low. Look at him like he is a little teeny tiny baby and and you're not expecting the world from him. You just are looking for a little bit of relaxation. The goal is relaxation, not the performance. You can work on the performance later, but for now you got to get him where he can come below threshold and get in a place when he is at above threshold, he is in fight or flight. He, he's not really processing learning. It's not a great place for him to be. So if you can get him slow and relaxed, you can actually use the shows as, for you, a schooling session for the shows that count. But anyway, so that is where I would go if he were my horse. Anyway, Susie, I hope that helps you out and gives you some ideas and some things to think about. If you have more questions as you go along and you're, or maybe, you know, there's a piece we didn't talk about or something, please don't hesitate to send another question in. You know where to do it. You go to Ask Shauna on my website. For those of you who don't know, um, you can go to my website or which is on-target-training.com. And if you want to know more about what I'm doing, where I am, and what I'm up to, you want to go to terranovatrainingcenter.com. And that's where I live. That's what I do. It's our positive reinforcement training center. And you can get signed up for our email, and you'll keep abreast of what we're up to, what our schedule is, when our workshops are, and just kind of some fun facts and things that we're 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 doing so anyway if all that's too much just google shaunacarish.com and you'll find me <laughs> anyway until next time enjoy getting your horse on target bye bye